everyone. I'm Michelle Welch here with Roger Welch. Hey my everybody. Partner in crime, life, everything else podcast. Matt Stoker's with us as always as our producer. Hello. And our guest tonight's going to be a very good friend of both me and Roger, not just your friend. You share her uh, with me as Sometimes. a friend every now and then. Yeah, but a friend to all of us at Soultopia. We've known her for quite some time, Ethany Dawn, and we'll bring her on in just a second to give her bio. But really, her bio at our store speaks for itself. If I could pull, I won't, but there's stacks of books and card decks and everything right in front of me that we've used many times on the show, right, Roger? That is correct. Yeah. Our topic tonight, we're going to talk about Ethany. Obviously, she's the star tonight, but we wanted to talk about um, what music means to us, uh, whether whatever the word spirituality means to you. Don't even have to use that word, but what it means to us in our lives and why they call it like the universal language. And does that have any tie into our healing properties um, or the ways we can heal ourselves or at least... Uh, work on ourselves with our, through our chakras and different things. So that's our topic tonight. I don't know what we called it. Oh, the magic of music. There you go. Uh, so Ethany is here. And Roger, you want to tell a little bit about Ethany? Well, you got her book right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, this book, she's done a lot since this book. So um, I'll read this one, though, and then we'll update it. So Ethany Dawn is a tarot reader and author who loves to create more than, more than deep, more than sleep. <laughs> <laughs> more than sleep and I would say that is totally true although I think lately we're both being forced to maybe not sleep but take it a little easier right at the near we need to we're gonna go on vacation and uh, she's the creator of one of our favorite decks of all time here at Soultopia the Bad Bitches Tarot the Awakened Soul Oracle the Prince Lenormand Oracle the Money Ma Magic Manifestation Cards she has Modern Love uh, the Muses of Tarot she has the Modern Goddess Oracle and the Penumbra Tarot, which I think I may have said right this time, but I don't know. She will correct me if that's not. And much more to come. She's in the middle of writing 
sec, uh, up more books. I know we have the same deadline, right, at the beginning of May. Anthony, so welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I know that thank you're really you. tired. Well, yeah. thank you so much for having me again. What What's all has been going on with you that you're willing to share? I know you have a lot of things to do, but um, how have you been? Yeah, it's been uh, this year kind of hit the ground running. Um, has been a bit of a crazy year already. Um, I have my next book coming out with Llewellyn Tara Grimoire that's coming out in August and I also have the same deadline as you for my third book with Llewellyn which is uh, the end of this month the first of May uh, to get that manuscript done so that, on top of isn't that maybe of, like the end of may could we just they just told I me wish. may <laughs> so i don't know i, I mean just like crying at a coffee shop just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's been me most of it i've been having to delete the comments that are right out to the side because i'm like yeah that didn't go yeah no no, no. and i'm thinking they probably know better than i do but thank you so much for being here um oh, we'll show a couple of your decks here roger you want to show a couple of these 2000 decks we have over here no, no. Oh my gosh, I got so many. We use them all the time, though, right? So go through them really fast, right? Okay, so this that one. one's probably out of my office, so it's well loved. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not love. Love. Yep. Yeah. Yes, this is definitely out of your office. You can tell. So I've decided that you have kind of you can show the this signature to your cards. Do you know? I'm assuming you know what it is. Every time. <laughs> back or do we call it the front of the cards it looks like really pretty wallpaper with the the and that's a compliment oh, right yeah, yeah so i'm always showing yes always showing the back of the mm -hmm. cards are so pretty um it seems like that's kind of become your trademark on your cards are you doing it on the next deck something like I that i am yeah. i am yes yeah i, I love am that. I <laughs> when did you decide I to do that I actually decided to do that with the Bad Bitches Tarot when yeah. I re when I, I did that deck and I remember going to my printer and the first version back in like 2017 I want to say mm -hmm. and they were just like oh we're gonna have a trial and error how to do this because I yeah. weren't yeah. quite sure whether it was going to work like they thought mm -hmm. the lines were going to be too thi uh, thin like too fine right so it was a lot of back and forth but yeah I think I if if I if I wasn't the first I was one of the very first to do that on so that's deck. when I met you at Reader Studio but I did a speech like the next year and I can tell you the boxes and everything changed around that time and I like to take credit for that um <laughs> I'm serious <laughs> because the only person really doing those decks at the time was maybe Rockpool the magnetic boxes mm -hmm. They were all tuck boxes. They all had another shrink wrap inside, which I'm like, why? Just put a belly band on it, right? And um, yeah, so I, I gave, remember. Yeah, so I gave that speech, and I was up, and I tell this every time. And in the room next to me was this kind of nice person that I liked just a little bit, and everybody was just laughing, and they were so damn loud. And it was Ethany in the room next to me. You never <laughs> want to be in the room next to Ethany because she's going to have the packed out, sold out crowd. So, no. uh, but it was it was a perfect uh, group number for me. I, yeah. but it was we, I was. I think everybody sitting in there was like, whoa, what are they doing over there? Because it's always so much fun. <laughs> and y'all have so much fun together um, with Reader Studio doing the bingo news. Uh, or news. Anti. Mm -hmm. Anti. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Doing bingo. We're not doing bingo at Reader Studio, though. No, we're not. But Ethany. Dang it. Ethany, you're still coming, right? Can you yes. Come? Yes. Okay. That's a yes. Okay, <laughs> so Anthony yes. is doing the new the new timers um, or whatever that is called. I should know. Uh, and first timers. First timers. First -timers. Thank timers. you. New time. The new timers. Okay. Glad, the glad she didn't say old timers. The, well, I can say that now since you had me get the disc, the senior discount at the Mexican food restaurant. <laughs> Remember? No. Yeah, you do. He oh. had me get the senior citizen discount. So you get the kids' meal. And then he had me, and then he ordered off the seniors. And I was like, why did you have to embarrass me if you were going to order off of it anyway? <laughs> so it's smaller on. meals. Senior, senior, hang on. Isn't senior citizens like 65 plus? It's not anymore. It's, you know, 30. <laughs> oh, well, then, I, then sign me up. I'll, you know, I'll get the senior discount. Love a good senior discount. You know, you can get an AARP card at any age. That's crazy. I've yeah. been getting those in the, yeah, and I'm like, that's trash. That is clearly, they are not sending that to me. <laughs> that is not, should <laughs> not be coming to my address. Uh, so, did I say this right? The penumbra? Penumbra. 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 I would say penumbra. You said it right the first time. Oh, yeah, you well, did say it right. I'm just the first time you said it right. Is the cover all the bases. It. Just at, just at some point, if you say enough, you throw enough stuff on the wall, something's going to stick. I mean, it sticks, yeah. Yeah. All right. 
And so, and I love this book. This one, obviously. <laughs> Look how it's tagged this? out. Can you see this, Ethany? I know. So it's, um, it makes me book, very happy. Your tarot court. And I've got several copies, obviously, because this one is not the one I don't, I wrote in the one. And you were the, oh, like the very first tagged. book club we ever had. Everywhere. Yeah, this one has like the markers for all the really. And, and the reason I think one of the reasons you're so popular is you are current. You stay in trend with, um, what demographic do you think best, is it across the board, the people that are, I know covens are kind of private, but you have an online coven. Does that, is it across the board? Do you appeal to a broad range? Oh or? my gosh, I think like, I think I'm definitely not, uh, I don't think I'm cool. I've never been a cool kid. <laughs> so like, I've never, I don't really feel like I am with like the younger people but I don't know like I just you know like I'm like everyone who gets onto the TikToks and it's like I feel like a million years old you know yes but well, um just wait just you wait I've been telling everybody so Nikki had a birthday and she's like yeah you know I'm so old but and I was like look when you hit this certain other one you really feel old okay so we're <laughs> we're, we're gonna talk about music so yes. everybody be thinking uh of your Matt, you too. Of your like the song that gets you kind of upbeat. The song you might like play right in your car. Ethan, I guess I that sent you that little meme every day. You write something like, "Which song do you, you want to dance to? What song's the best to play in the car?" It's kind of fun. And the reason I don't ever want to fill those out is because I'm like, "Well, if I say that, I need to say." But in the alternative, like if I'm in this kind of mood, then it's good. my favorite song is this. So I never want to commit. And I'm thinking it's just freaking social media, who cares what you write down? It's not going to be you're married to that song for life, right? Right. Okay. So one of the things, so be thinking of the, your favorite upbeat kind of song, your favorite ballad. I've got one. My, I've got to ride or die if I need to, okay. if I need to get yeah, we're gonna... I've got one song that has been like that for like forever. So hold yeah. that thought and we'll get to Don't... it. Um, because so we're going to, and this is a way you, that we can do divination. So if you're listening now or later, you can write your favorite upbeat song, your favorite ballad. I think I called it in this third, in this book, Ethany, the third one, I said something like your favorite when you're sad song. And they said, the response was from the vision team you have to have a sad song? And I was like, well, you know, okay, a ballad. I, I don't know what, yeah, you do have kind of that sad song that you play, right? And then another way, um, the third one could be where you just take your phone and you do shuffle. And mm. and no matter what comes up on there, that's you read for someone or for yourself based on the lyrics of the song. And that's um, under this thing called Stitchomancy, which is kind of where you open, back in the day, they'd open homer uh, the iliad or the odyssey and they'd open let it fall to whatever page people you can do it dictomancy all different kinds but when you do it with verse like poetry or lyrics it's called rhapsodomancy and so there's the, it's the same kind of thing where you take lyrics from the song and you do reading on it mm -hmm. right okay yep. it's fun yep, yep did you try that at uh did you do that with anybody when we were at newts i didn't get time to go to the divination station i didn't get time to do that either i was running on like a chicken with my head cut off but i love that whole idea the whole idea is jamming i love your glasses by the way just thank as you aside, those i have cool. many a cat eye glasses <laughs> Yeah, I remember Maybe that. The first, and I, what I was going to say is the first time we met, and, this, and we'll come back to the music, was Reader Studio, which we have yes, at the end of April. Yep. Um, and I remember you were sitting with a, a table, and you were going over your Bad Bitches Tarot, so whatever year that was. Uh, and I didn't know you at all, and I turned to you, and you had no clue who I was, and I said, I'd like to buy the rest of your Bad Bitches Tarot deck that you have left. And you, go, and you were like, well, mate, I'm not sure I have that many left over. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But whatever you had, and we brought them, and they sold. Like people, yeah. we, I've always said this, we had a fashion show here one time to the, her, your deck. And people literally came as all, like different cards in your deck. You want to guess what the most popular one was? Do you have it over? What, Ooh, what card was the most popular? The is that the one that's dressed kind of witch, a little witchy looking? Oh, uh, the magician. I yeah, love the magician. Her. The magician. Yeah. Part. So can, do we still have some of these at the store? I know they're out of print. Uh, I think we only have maybe a couple of decks left. Yeah. Well, like one or two. Is all Everybody has to have yeah, this they're deck. All, they're all, it's all, it's all like she's, 
She's just being put on the. She's like we're going to be that elf on the shelf for a bit, limited. you know. Just yeah, well, that, that means nobody touched my decks that are in my office <laughs> because I remember you came into my office and sat down one one time, Ethany, and I had my computer sitting on top of a melody book, and you go, you know, that book is worth like X amount, and I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> That was that print, babe. Like, don't, like, don't lean your computer on it. Yeah, you're like, you know, why don't you get a shoebox or something? Or is this, <laughs> not the book. Okay, so. Uh, what $500 book. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you doing, Michelle? I was like, oh, okay, I'll put that back on the shelf, I guess. Uh, but um, what matters most to you uh, with music, or is it both? The, the music, you know how we'd always tell our parents, at least I would, well, I'm not listening to the words. It's just the beat. Uh, when I'd get in trouble for listening to ACDC. You got in trouble for ACDC? Oh, you got in trouble for ACDC? Oh, y'all know what kind of house I grew up in, right? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't watch Laverne and Shirley because it said whatever rules I'm going to break, we're going to break them. And then he was like, oh, no, you're not. That was not, you're not going to watch that show. So um, let me guess. What? Uh, Highway to Hell. Is hers or mine? <laughs> hers. Um, yeah, well, I like that one. Dirty deeds, done dirty You know, there's lots of them. Uh, if we play music, it, they won't play, right, Matt? It's a copyright violation. Uh, yeah. It it depends. Yeah. I, I think depends a couple much of seconds, play. yeah, <laughs> is probably not okay, yeah. but uh, you never know. Okay, so. It depends it, on how much you're listening. Mm -hmm. It's it's to us. Well, the, I mean, the algorithm's the listening. Algorithm. That's, that's what happens. They'll, it's always they'll catch Michelle, it automatically. Gets, Michelle gets us in trouble. Feed the beast, the algorithm. You know what it wants? Conflict. Was that called an allegor, Ethany? Allegory? Yeah, alle not allegory, like a allegor, like in Matt Orwin said this term. So he's like talking about social media and he's like, you're not feeding the beast. And, what, and I said, but why do I have to feed the beast, which is the algorithm? He said, conflict, but it doesn't have to be bad conflict. It's just like, a you know, get people talking about their opinions because it's a thought form, but that's a whole nother show. Brene Brown just had somebody, he's, he's studied, he's done a whole study on, yeah. um, the stuff that goes to the top and why it's usually something where people are in conflict over something. But all right, so we're going to start off with like really fast. Roger, you you play the singing bowls, yes. the root chakra. Uh, that's for our security, right? It's red. Everyone mm -hmm. knows that. Um, it's the note is C. Correct. And it would be lam, not lamb, but lam. We're Lame, going to work Lame, up Lame. to om. Lame. There you go. Lame. <laughs> and so the root chakra is tied to drums. Okay. So, and if it's, we don't usually say, I don't know if you do, Anthony, but we don't, I don't say balance so, so much, or, or excuse me, blot, as I say, overactive or underactive. If it's mm -hmm. overactive, mm -hmm. your root chakra, you're going to be, people like that might be a little stubborn. They're stuck in their ways. Uh, if, if it's underactive, you have a need for security, right? So, um, the self geo frequency that goes to that is 396, and that's about fear and guilt and so they all tie in together and some songs that what i would recommend everybody do is think of a song if you can that would that has to do with your security or needing to feel more secure and that might be a good song for the root chakra depending on if if you're overbalanced and you're just like or overactive in it and you just are stubborn then maybe you need a chill out song right but one of the songs um would be like lean on me i think everybody's heard mm -hmm. of that song so I'm going to be saying the oldies and goodies, but y'all can come up with the other ones if you think of it. But I don't think the song has to have drums in it because Lean on Me really doesn't. Maybe there's a version, but it has, but that is the one that's connected with the root chakra. But Lean on Me, can you think of any other songs? That would, oh. Um, that go with the root chakra? I have another one. What, what's your other one? The one from Black Panther. Um, uh, not Fill Me Up. Um, pour me out. Yeah, no, it is. Fill me up. Pour me out. It's the root. It's the from yeah. the Black Panther movie. It's a beautiful song, and I play it during healings, and it's very root chakra feeling. But back to the question: Would you base that on the no, the the music, or do you think the lyrics are both? I mean, it's what do you think, Ethany? Oh, see, for me, I have always been a lyrics person. One like um, even before. Um, even before doing music so if, for people who don't know I was I did music all the way through school cool. um and so before I started to learn anything about music theory I always wanted to, I always loved lyrics I've got 
very embarrassing lyrics that I wrote in my childhood and I've just always really loved music. And so for me, the lyrics have always been hugely important because before uh, as well, before I even knew what magic theory was, we spell things into being, we speak magic into being. and, And when we empower that with music, then we even have it in in a, in a much bigger capacity because we're speaking multiple languages. Right. So if I'm looking at what I'm going to listen to, a lot of the time it is going to be what the lyrics are about, but I also love musicality and I love music. And then there are times when I just want to dance and I don't mm-hmm. give a shit and I just want to like listen to something dumb and poppy but then there are other times when I'm like oh I want to listen to some really fucking good whoops technical musicians I want to listen to Neil Peart I want to listen mm-hmm. to the guys from Muse who know how to to play their instruments mm-hmm. like immensely well I want to listen to Metallica when they were you know at their peak because they were excellent mm-hmm. at what their craft so it depends on the mood but I will most likely go to what the lyrics me too. for me. What about you? I got it. I got the song. Ultimate grounding song. I, is this a joke? Or you no, no. Think okay. about it. Zach Brown band, Toes, because you're putting toes in the sand. Okay. See? I don't know that song. How do you There's know a really, that song? I, well, here's the thing. Another... Sometimes I don't know the title of a movie or song, no. but then when I hear it, I know it, right? What were you going to say, Ethany? Um, there's a really great song that came to me when you're talking about the root chakra. If you do not know who Ray LaMontagne is, he's an American singer-songwriter, and his song called Shelter is beautiful, mm. and the lyrics go really well with that. To That'd me. be really good. Uh, do you have one, Matt, for the root chakra, for, like, feeling secure and all that? Um, yeah, I probably, I probably do. I think the one that comes to mind first is uh, a song called Cover Me Up by Jason Isbell. Morgan Wallen also did a cover of it, which I think a lot of people would know, but I like the original version better. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's all about being, like, feeling safe and secure uh, with someone. This song specifically is about overcoming addiction and feeling safe with someone, but it could be about a lot of different stuff. So uh, that's that's a great one, too. Yeah, so see, this is kind of cool to do this, right? So this is a way, um, and so when I do healing work, I don't always play, I may play the chakra notes, but I often will play music that I'm guided to play while somebody's on the table getting the energy work. And I always say at the beginning, if any of this bothers you, triggers you, you don't like the song, whatever, just, you know, I have not once had somebody do that. No. Because, you know, it's, um, but I definitely have different tastes than most people. Metallica. That's a big no for me. No, Metallica. <laughs> Interesting. See, you need to listen to Metallica with the symphony orchestra yeah. and go into it. Mm-hmm. Then really I would like it. Open yeah. to just and listen to the lyrics. Like they're a lot of their lyrics are extremely deep. Yeah. Um, but it just tends to be very like. Yeah, I yeah. guess like. <laughs> but I would listen to it. You know, symphony. yeah. Like, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the. Um, heroes on parade or something. I think it's disposable heroes. Like if you listen to disposable heroes, uh-huh. which is about basically young people being thrown at the foot of war, like that is like mm. it's so deep, you know. Just yeah. because it's Metallica doesn't mean, or, I mean, and, and they're pretty tame for rock. So <laughs> and yeah. it's it's honestly, I'm pretty big into the lyrics too. But it's also that music, and I drive Roger crazy because I'll play if I find a song I like. She will play it 30 times in I'm a like row. I'm like that too. <laughs> 30 times in a row. I knew we had nice. a lot in common. Nice. Yeah. So and it's, it's not like put it on repeat. She plays halfway through and then backs it up and starts it again. It never that, goes all no, the way through. That's accidental usually. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's not on purpose. Uh, the next one we go up and, of course, the root chakra's red. Y'all can think about that if you're listening like Roy G. Biv, The Colors of the Rainbow, starting with the root chakra's where you sit down. Uh So we've got some good songs for that one. And then the next one is our sacral chakra. Shakar chakra. Can't ever say that. Shakra. Shakra chakra. Shaka Khan. Um, Okay, so, but it is a Shakira song. Um, Hips don't lie. (laughs) For your sacral chakra. I mean, that's a good one, yeah. It's, if, and illness-wise, like your, if your hips are feeling funky, you know, a little bit off, it could be, um, you need some work on your sacral chakra. Wear orange. The note is D, which corresponds mm-hmm. to Roger. You want to talk about singing bowls and how it 
sure. tie that in to? Sure. So that actually is a D note, um, like I said, orange, so which is sacral so chakra. And that has a lot to do with like creativity, sexuality, things like that. Mm -hmm. You're a Scorpio, so you yes. say that in the opposite direction, probably. Yeah, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, um, I'm a Scorpio moon. What's your, what are your signs, Ethany? I can't remember. Gemini sun, okay. uh, Pisces moon, Virgo rising, uh, all mutable, very heavily influenced by Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you say Virgo rising or Libra? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. Libra rising. Yeah. Virgo rising. Okay. And then, um, so on that one that I did, hips don't lie. Uh, if you're overactive in that one, you can be like really obsessed with something. You could actually be like a, have some porn addictions or whatever. That's, porn addiction. I always say that one because remember that class, that crystal class, the little yeah. girl was in there with one of my friends. I was like, sure, you can bring her. And the first thing out of my mouth is, okay, we're doing sacral chakra tonight. Those are usually the orange stones. And, you know, if you're overactive in that area, if Young. that chakra's, I, and, and I said, you know, it's all about sex and blah, and everybody in the class is getting quieter and quieter. And I'm like, what am I saying wrong? And then I realized that we have like an eight-year-old in the class. <laughs> but um, so that one is the social geo frequency is 417. It has to do with your with clarity and mm -hmm. uh so and that's it's going to be trumpet sounds that's the instrument for the sacral chakra there's pretty much universal agreement i don't know who decided that it, i think it's just what and they make sense to me yeah. trumpets i thought of that jason De, how do you say his name De, De De Rolo. Rolo. De Rolo. trumpets <laughs> i was playing it over and over in the office but uh that's when i thought of for that can y'all think of any I've got two. So okay. if you're looking at the songs, like looking at creativity, yeah. um, that part of it, I would definitely say something like Imagine by John Lennon. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're looking at the sexy side, and this is for your Scorpios, mm -hmm. Wicked Games by The Weeknd, this is like way back before he had a label, dangerous and amazing. Okay. <laughs> Very Scorpio vibes. <laughs> um, what's yours? Um, what's that? Um well, I mean, if you're going Scorpio vibe, you could definitely go with like uh, "It Wasn't Me" by Shaggy. Oh my god! <laughs> I, mean, I even got I mean, Matt laughing. I mean, we know that's pretty good when he's over there laughing. <laughs> Matt. I appreciate I appreciate a Shaggy reference. Yeah. How about a or Eminem? Shake that. <laughs> At, he was playing yeah. Eminem. Went, so in the stores, we would have uplifting music. That was our whole thing. I'm like, what does uplifting mean? I just mean upbeat, not elevator music. If you want to, there's nothing wrong with the Zen mm -hmm. music, but a lot of these, they do connect to the, the chakras and to that sound. Um, the D note is, if I already said that, I'm sorry. But any song then that would have to do kind of with what Ethan, you just said, whether it's your creativity or any kind of passion with, and, and growth or giving birth to something in whatever area of life that mm -hmm. is, right? So, um, did everybody, did you say one, Matt? I don't think I have a good one for this. At least I can't think of one, right? You just I'll laughed at Rogers, head. right? Yeah, yeah. I'll send you some, Matt. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. You got a playlist? I got, a whole, got a, sexy, I got a whole playlist. A super sexy playlist somewhere <laughs> that he's just going to like send you, over to Matt. What do you well, say? you want a dark one. It'll sexy be, uh, time. That's what he always says. I'm like, that is not sexy. I actually sexy. have got a playlist called Make Them Panties Drop. So you <laughs> know what? Like, yeah. I can't talk. There you go. Or if you uh, want to get dark on it, it could be Possum Kingdom. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh no. I do like Possum no, I do like Possum Kingdom quite a bit. So yeah. A, Can you sing it? How's that go? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't <laughs> sing it. But I, <laughs> right? It's the Toadies. And they, it's the Toadies. Got a, yeah, they've got. I wanted to go see the Toadies, but somebody wouldn't go. Yeah. Who was that? I can't imagine. Um, so the next one is the solar plexus. So this is our center of like worthiness. Like I am worthy. I'm confident. I feel good about myself. Yellow, think of the yellow color. I always want to go to the crystals, but we're not doing that tonight. Um, for that, it's going to be like um, strings, but it's strings with, what is the word I told you? With friction. Friction strings. So like That's violin correct. or cello, those kind mm -hmm. of, and then I said the note I think is E. It's ROM, but again, like this is like overactive would be like, I am the most, because solar plexus is where you get your, are you a badass or aren't you a badass? But if you're just, I am the, the SH, you know, I'm a ship, it's me, it's all about me, then that's probably overactive. If you're just like, I'm a worm, I'm a nobody, that's going to be a little bit underactive. It's a 528 uh, sulfogeo frequency. And the reason these frequencies matter is because, 
they've been proven for certain things. Like that one is not, maybe not proven, but they were banned by the church. And that pretty much to me means it's been proven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, if the church, <laughs> if they been seriously, they banned it in forever ago. Um, the Suffolk J.O., there's a fancier way to say it, but uh, frequencies. And then they um, reintroduced them, but they did ban them because they would help people get in touch with their without having to go have a go between to get into their, to get enlightenment. Infinity. Yeah. And so, um, you know, we've got the element of fire. It, these would be songs that make you feel confident that make you feel really brave. Um, do y'all have any for that? Oh my gosh. There's so many. Okay. Go so for many. It. Went raw, Katy Perry, run the world, uh, power by a little mix. Uh, what's wrong with being confident, respect. Like yeah. there's just so many, songs uh for that i think a lot of songs especially anything to do with girl power even anything by the spice girls back mm -hmm. you know i was a massive fan of the spice That's girls so, yeah. anything that has got to do with uh empowerment women empowerment has has definitely got to align with the solar plexus yeah like pink stuff right i mean a yeah lot of yeah stuff. totally yeah. Uh, i would think so too roger what about you listen to pink music yeah i like pink okay. you do yeah yeah what else did you think of one? How about Darius Rucker, Beer and Sunshine? Makes you feel good. You got beer, it's yellow, sunshine, yellow. How about <laughs> Walking that? on sunshine, yeah. Katrina in the waves. There you there go. You go. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. There you go. See, you're laughing at my song? I wasn't laughing. Hell? I'm not laughing at that. I thought, <laughs> Damn the, I thought the yellow was funny. You know, beer, ship, beer's yellow. What else? I mean, it's it still is. an association. It, it is. It, it is. Yeah. Makes you feel good. And because what, what do we do? Like, I infuse the room. If you're just working on somebody's solar putzes, you could go all yellow, right? Wear yellow. Mm -hmm. If they don't like yellow, yep. you tell them to wear yellow underwear and just infuse yourself in that chakra. With yellow do, underwear? I mean orange. Or, or yellow, yeah. For yourself. If you don't like yellow, because a lot of people think they look bad in yellow. Just they wear could yellow wear, underwear. Just, just yellow underwear. What about yellow socks? And then socks? they'll really be confident. Mm -hmm. Oh, the kind that go up like yeah. to your knee? Knee like, or, uh, No, so like, like your halfway to your calf. Yeah. yeah. And just your underwear. Yellow yeah. underwear. He's wearing that to Reader Studio. <laughs> He'll be modeling that in Amy's fashion show. Can you make but a note? But isn't it interesting make a note that it? You, like, whenever you're wearing bright colors or you wear something that is is seems to be like yellow or a bright pink mm -hmm. or a bright orange and people are like, oh, you're so brave wearing that. And it's like, yeah. I mean, you know, there's like that whole thing of not wanting to be seen, seen. right, which uh -huh. is very anti-yellow. I love fucking yellow. I'll wear yellow like all the time. I, yeah, It's you, a great color. I love color too. Um, here's the thing that was funny with me one time. You were talking about, you know, you don't want to be seen. I went to some a long time ago. I won't say her name, but she told me, I put, she told everybody at this thing that that girl over there is putting a curse on me. And I was like, oh. me? <laughs> <laughs> I just came for church. What do you know? Talking about, I didn't put a curse on you, <laughs> you know, but I didn't even know who she was. And suppose I was putting a curse on her. And um, where was that going? Don't know. Oh, um, Confidence. With the bright colors, confidence. Well, she wore black all the time, but she, which I like black too. But no, it was, it was something having to do with that. It was just funny because she was like, you know, that girl over there, she's she's hexing me. I was like, <laughs> well, now I am because you told everybody, but now I hadn't even given you a second thought. But that did tie in there somehow. I don't know how. And um, that's going to be your, um, where you said what it is, um, the song that, just any strong song that makes you feel confident um imagine dragons like on top of the world mm, that's a good one yeah the bell already said y'all's for confidence oh yeah kind of i mean matt did you have one um i'm trying to think of something that makes me feel like yeah like energized confident i do the first thing that comes to mind and i don't know if it quite fits but i think it probably fits is um, don't stop me now by Queen. Like that. That oh, is a song so that good. like Perfect. makes me feel. That's also just a really good driving song for me. Yeah. Um, is just like, or maybe a, a bad driving song because it just makes me <laughs> want to speed. But it, it is one of those that just makes me feel very like, get out of my way. Don't stop me. I'm. I feel. Yeah. You know, good about what I'm doing or whatever. I think even we're the champions. You know, like any of the songs. A lot of Queen play songs the probably sports, probably sports games. fit. Yeah, they're yeah. all very kind of uh, empowering in a way. Yeah. So one of the things too, when in sales, when I used to tell my guys, it would be to go out um, right before you go into somebody's home, listen to your favorite upbeat song, mm -hmm. you know, because of that and get pumped up and everything. Yeah. yeah. I always listen to Eminem, something like Superman or something like that. Yeah. And then like, um, 
Mark Cuban, he, his favorite song, remember, mm. is Howling for You. And I love that song, Howling for You. Um, and it's like, dun, dun, dun. And they play that at the beginning now, like almost every basketball game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know if it's just the Mavericks, but a lot of places play that Howling for You. And, yeah. and they didn't know who it, what it was until. No. Um, did he sell the Mavericks? Is he mm. out yet? He sold his uh, majority stake in it, I believe, is how that. Yeah. I, I believe he still owns part of it, but not not what he used to. So if y'all, anybody who just listening and doesn't know, that's um, Mark Cuban's on Shark Tank, but he owns the Mavericks and in Dallas, and uh, he's a really nice guy. He returns every single email that people write him. Damn, I'm on a text. I email him uh, he knows Judy. So yeah, we, we used to text him all the time, and he would. He, I mean, not text, email, and he'd return it. A busy man though, but he's getting into pharmacy, pharmaceuticals for people yeah. who he's can't been, afford them. Yeah, he's been there. He's doing that. a lot of good work yeah, over there. He is. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's go to the heart chakra. You talk about fifty percent of songs. I think it would probably be higher. Are, are, are about love, love songs. It's the note F. Um, the heart chakra has to do with uh, obviously love, any type of love, friendships, emotions, but it also can tie into your lungs, your arms, your hands. It's. Um, the F note, mm-hmm. YAM, and the sophageal frequency is 639. That does have to do with love, compassion, and relationships. If you're overly in that chakra, you might be really needy and clingy. I have to have someone. If you're underactive, you might just be walling yourself off and pushing everyone away in the extreme. Uh, so in this one, you want to think about anything for love. So there's a lot of them for this one. What's yours? Ron? Oh, my God. So many. <laughs> You I got the perfect one. Okay, here we go. I hated this song, too. I is, absolutely hated it. Is this it song. I Will Always Love You, which no. is my favorite song because I'm no. corny that way? Achy, I love you. I was going to say that, too. <laughs> Achy, Breaky Heart. Achy, Breaky Heart. Oh, Miley's dad. Oh, my God. Oh, Achy, Breaky Heart. I hated that song because Don't it was so... Don't tell my heart. My Achy, oh. Breaky Heart. <laughs> was, that, was that Miley's? Yes. yes. Billy yeah. Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray. Yeah. Miley's dad. I guess the final joke's on us, though, right? I love Miley's music. What about he's No, he's in the shit. He's in the doghouse, yeah. social media wise. Yeah. Oh, like is he? Right I don't. I, I, actually, yeah. the guy who actually I wrote that song, "Ache You Break Your Heart," "Ache You Break Your Heart," yeah, was um, a friend of mine. He was a wallpaper. He, the guy who wrote the song did wallpaper, like he was a wallpaper hanger and painted, and he did a bunch of remodels for a friend of mine. <laughs> Oh, and that's who wrote it the song? Oh, yeah, crazy. he's the one that actually wrote the song, too, yeah. You know who I always think about writing songs, just as we were talking about that, is, um, I don't know if you said it, Ethany, but you told me I could. Ethany's writing lyrics now, along with her books and everything else for music. Um, I keep losing my damn train of thought. Taylor Swift, but Ed Sheeran. So Ed oh. Sheeran wrote, Taylor writes her own music, but Ed that's how they became friends back in the days. Ed Sheeran's a great songwriter, and he finally started singing himself, right? Um, and he has great music. Remember when we mm-hmm. went to that? Yep. He was, was here long. in town, Ethany, and it was the kids wanted to go. It was like it was when he was not small, so popular. Like when I say small, it was a bar. Like it was a bar. Yeah, I love his in, like his intimate shows. Like mm-hmm. lucky you guys got to go to one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that's when we proved that the. Samsung phone has better picture taking abilities than the Apple. It was an ongoing battle. Even the worst camera in the Samsung is better than the best camera Still in the is. Apple. It is. And it was, remember that? We proved, you you proved it to me because all my pictures were like crap. And then you're like, look at this. And I was like, guys, it's like you had the. And that was the old Samsung, not even the new ones. The new ones are even show? better. Yeah, it was I remember old. that. Uh, can you oh, think I got of, another one. Okay. I was gonna, and then you asked Anthony. Yeah. All right. Uh, George Jones, he started loving her today. Or are you thinking of all the uh, country think westerns? Of that. Mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah see, I'm definitely. That's a sad one, though. Yeah. That's a sad one. <laughs> that really pulled. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, last week, Anthony, we were talking about the fact that his, his uncle played guitar for Tammy Wynette. And so, uh, but also smuggle drugs or whatever, drug money. <laughs> <laughs> so Roger helped with that, that trade, that, that little endeavor. I was only like 10 at the time. Yeah. So we talked about that last week. What, what songs for you? I know, well, I, I know was going to say, I will always love you or my heart will go on because you can't not have those songs or like Unchained Melody. Yes. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But I think like for the underactive or the heart that is, um, struggling mm-hmm. one of my favorite songs lyrically is heart of the matter and mm-hmm. i like i love india re's mm-hmm. version of heart of the matter that mm-hmm. song i went through a really bad breakup i listened to it like a million times 
cried my eyes out, but the, lyrically that song is beautiful for the heart that is going through it. Has anybody ever told you that you remind them of Adele? Your no, but I will absolutely take that compliment. Well, then take it. <laughs> if because... only I had her talent and her bank account. <laughs> well, I don't know about your bank account, but I've heard you sing, and you sing really, really well. So you're a great singer. Okay, so that is the heart chakra. We could think of a million ones for that. Oh, and yeah. I like how you tied oh, yeah. in, you know, are you needing help in that area? Are you feeling totally in love? And, you know, and this is, you know, our song versus... I am going through a breakup. And that's where that ballad thing, for lack of a better term, would come in because the music can help us. Even if it's sad music, it helps us walk through those emotions, right? So I don't mm -hmm. think there's anything wrong with her being in the ballad movie. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. Um, the next one is your throat chakra. So that's usually like a kind of, I think of it as sky blue, but most people just traditionally call it a blue. It's going to be your physically your throat, neck, mouth. This is where you want to be heard. You feel you can speak your truth most people say that but really it's also about listening uh being able to listen and roger says i'm not i really need to work on that <laughs> so that is um that is g and it's 714 on sofa geo frequencies it, this is expression um you can relieve release toxins with and the sofa geo frequencies you can just youtube that or get my book because it's all in there. And then I tied each of those into which being you might be wanting to connect with. Because for me, connecting with other spirits is, is really through frequency because everything's energy. So that's what I did in Spirits Unveiled is I tied in um, what, uh, which one of the self geo frequencies would help with connecting with different types of spirits. And of course, when if we go back to the heart, that might be somebody that you really had an emotional connection with one way or the other, right? Um, so it might be there. But on blue, for your throats, throats, throat, um, this is where you're expressing yourself and you want to express yourself. The instruments typically like the flute or other wind instrument like that. Trumpet's wind instrument. I'm not sure. Is flute considered? Yeah. I don't know. Flute okay. is a wind instrument. I can tell yes. you that because that's what I played all the way through. Oh, school. so tell us. So <laughs> tell us. It's a woodwind. It's, it's a woodwind. It's a woodwind, yeah. Yep. So what songs for that, y'all? For your throat to express yourself. Oh my yourself. gosh, so many. There's got to be one called but, Express Yourself, right? I'm sure there's a song. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's Madonna. Come on oh, now. Yeah, the, the one and only mother. Speak yeah. now, Taylor Swift. Don't say anything, Roger. Um, talk to I me, like, Stevie I like Taylor Nicks. Swift. Oh, talk to me, Stevie Nicks. Stevie yeah. Nicks. Talk yeah. is cheap. Chet Baker, great bloody yeah. song. Uh, talk, Coldplay. There's heaps of songs about yeah. talking. What, you have one, Roger? How about Hello by Adele? Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Yes, it's a good one. That's a good one. What about you, Matt? You have one? Uh, no, I mean, those are all great answers. I don't know that I have anything that would improve upon that yeah. or that I could add to that. On the spot, right? I, should yeah. have, I was typing this up to send it out, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to make it. It's going to either be I'm going to at least <laughs> look a little right. halfway decent or the typed up notes are going to be sent out to everybody. <laughs> You're going to have to um, write down all the songs from this uh, this episode. Someone's yeah. going to not me. Cause, have to um, create a playlist. Yeah, and so I've been trying to, Anthony, later, remember, well, I'll go back and listen to it and get them of the ones you're saying. I've been writing a lot of them down. So the third eye, y'all, the Ajna, this is like small bells, like little, almost chimes, twins, chimes and a little lighter. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's so this is our seat of our intuition, our knowingness, the pineal or pineal gland, however you want to say that, your brain, your eyes, Roger, Roger's eyes have been bothering him. Um, so, you know, if that gets really, your third eye gets really overactive, you can have nightmares, maybe potentially you might have headaches, things like that. Your eyes might hurt. Uh, if you're underactive in that area or whatever word you want to use for that, there's no right or wrong word to use really, just whatever people want to use. But if you're not really feeling like you can express yourself, a lot of people will, they're really underactive in their throat chakra or living in the past. So, because they haven't been able to get out and express what they really feel. They're still just saying what everybody expects them to say. That's what I'm going through. Like, and then when I say what I really want to say, that didn't go over too well either. <laughs> so, um, but it can cause insomnia. And again, it's with your eyes. Um, there's a song by um, Ethany. Do you know this one by Lizzo? Uh, no, not Lizzo. What's her name? Enzo. Do you know? I-N-Z-O? I was getting her confused uh -huh. with the but it's called, it's called. Is this the one where she talks about 
has said, I, yeah, I think I know which one you're talking so about. So it's over, it's called Overthinker. And what's cool about it is a song, it's the song is recorded over a lecture by Alan Watts. It's about overthinking. And so they, she, they're, they're really recording over this. We shall take a look at that one. And some of these, by the way, come from, I'll give credit for this. Y'all can look it up. It comes from, uh, that's cool. No man's nomads, excuse me, with purpose. www.nomadswithpurpose. It's a very, very succinct um, website on this. Um, it's a note A, and it is the sound ohm. And uh, so that song would be really cool. Uh, the spiritual or the sulfogeo frequency is for is 852, which is to increase your intuitiveness, your or intuition and spirituality or enlightenment whatever word you want to use for that so <clears throat> some songs for that would be i thought the one I'm, i want to look up the one that she said ethany oh my gosh i got heaps so obviously i go to stevie nicks rhiannon yes that's that's or anything lorena mckennett florence mm -hmm. and the machine have a song called third eye mm -hmm. so it is tool um great songs to all check out but yeah i would definitely go to like stevie nicks or lorena mckennett okay to be pretty big on those. What about you, Roger? All right. So this one's a little out there, but this is Jimmy Buffett. It's called Scarlet Begonias and it has a lyric in it. I had to look it up to get it exactly right, but I knew kind of what it says. She had uh, rings on her fingers and bells on her shoes. And I knew without asking, she was into the blues. I remember she, that song. she wore crystal begonias tuck, or scarlet begonias tucked into her curls. I knew right away she was not like other girls. Oh, Aww. that's sweet. Yeah. So, and it sounds like that he likes just country western music. He does not. Well, you said Eminem. Yeah, I've yeah, talked like about some all others. Kinds. You... Yeah, you like all kinds. <laughs> Eminem country music. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Beyonce. No. Beyonce's, well, no, she's from, no, Houston, no, she's from no, Houston, Texas. No, that's not Russia. country music. Okay, we're not. I, <laughs> we're not I having that conversation. We're not having that conversation. <laughs> that's been, all, actually, in this, I, I, it's not me. It's, I don't give a shit one way or the other. He but it care. has been all over, all over. She's from Houston, social. Texas. <laughs> What does that she have to do is. with the price she's of tea in China? I mean, like, it doesn't she's matter. She's from Texas. That she's doesn't not... make you a country. What does? Well, <laughs> not being from Houston, Texas doesn't make you like I think a country star. Texas is pretty country, um, but Mississippi probably does have us. But Mississippi, Tennessee, where all the country western music comes from is Tennessee, right? Pretty much. Really? But, I mean, I still, um, my big thing on this is if everyone doesn't have a problem with no. some fucking white Australian guy singing country music, then everyone should shut the fuck up it's about not, Beyonce. It's exactly. just every single right to sing country music. I don't think that's yeah. why you don't like it, though. Whether no, 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 like I just don't not. like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like think beat. that's why he he just doesn't like the song. I don't no, like no, the no, song I'm just saying, so. but he's from Australia. Australia <laughs> yeah. is like, that is like, you know, kangaroos and shit like mm -hmm. i mean if no one's got a problem with him singing right no 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 be it shouldn't be music. i think it's more because it's actually is kind of a i've seen some things where it's like a rip off of other songs and stuff like yeah that. Just, but just because she's from texas so is zz top that's not country music it isn't janice joplin country music she's from texas she's folk no. more than yeah. she is country yeah. see she's folk but does it really i mean the thing is that it doesn't, doesn't really matter it doesn't like, matter yeah, yeah. but so is Roy Overson. He's from Texas. So did you have a song, Matt? Uh, so remind me again the parameters of this Kind song. of like your <laughs> intuition, your getting in touch with kind of your knowingness, your, your mm. third eye, your... Actually, kind of actually, yeah, there's a song I really love. This one is country. Um, it's by a singer named Sturgill Simpson, and he's got a song called Turtles All the Way Down, and it's about... Mm. Um, not necessarily about religion, but about spirituality, kind of uh, outside the realm of religion. And I think it's uh, I think it's really interesting. I've never heard of that song. It's also about it's... doing a lot of drugs, but it's uh, it's great. Well, now you've got two out of the seven chakras <laughs> have been about drugs. Um, I'm gonna send you that thing every day that I did Jelly Roll. There was one that asked, oh, "What's your oh, yeah. a song about drugs or alcohol?" Mm -hmm. I love Jelly Roll. He was playing that music. Save somebody, save me with Lainey Wilson. Save me. Yep. And he was playing it one day before I was going. He was taking me somewhere, and I was like, what are we going to listen to now? And then I just got hooked on Jelly Roll's music. Do you know his music, Ethany? Jelly Roll? Um, I don't think I do. No, it's Jelly Roll. It's kind of like a cross Oh, I between. know their face. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. He's had a lot of trouble, so he really writes about it, and I think it's really cool because that's how he – 
isn't that how we process a lot of our pain is through music like when you said you you know play a song you cry your eyes out to that song and then I think it's so great the people who do play an instrument Matt's learning play piano play or write uh, whether you're journaling it you you're getting that you know out and a lot of that's what comes out in lyrics mm -hmm. it's from stuff that people go through right mm -hmm. and those are usually the songs that kind of I don't know I guess the lyrics to I love Elton John and I always want to know what the lyrics mean but he writes the music and his partner would write the lyrics and they didn't yeah. always have meaning. I think they have this deep, deep meaning and he'll be like, yeah, not really on some of them. Right. So, um, and then let's see. So, uh, let's do the last one. Crown chakra. That's on the top of your head. That's where you kind of get connected with to all that is to, to, um, uh, and it's usually shells, like conch shells, uh, sounds made with shells. There's no, oh, and the third eye is ohm, and the note is A. But no. but you can do no. ohm. It, is that me? I heard mm, something. I don't know. You can do um, ohm or just no sound at all on the on the crown. I think of it as more ohm. It's, mm -hmm. This is our um, physically... Because uh, crown chakra is just, I already said, the connectedness to all. But it's your energy may be low. Um, your coordination may be a little off sometimes or really good at coordination or a little off. But And it is connected to the brain. It's the note is B963. Uh, it's the sophageo frequency. It's perfect. Um, it's perfect oneness is what you're looking for with that. And that, so that frequency will help with that. Uh, now, here's the thing with sophageo frequencies. You can get them just with the tone that can actually kind of make you a little agitated sometimes. And I always wonder if that agitation means you need to hear it kind of like essential oils. Mm -hmm. You need the one that's, yeah. you don't like how it smells, but that's the one you need, kind of homeopathic medicine. Um, or, but you can also get them with a song layered over it, over this, and these are on YouTube, they're free. There's apps that are free. And then you can do, um, Somebody could also do talking over it, but if you got to like their voice and stuff, I mean, to like that. But sometimes if you're agitated by the, the tones, just know, consider maybe I'm not supposed to be listening to this one or maybe because I was at the doctor, I was, they were going to pull that tooth without, they just deadened it, y'all. That's, that's all they did. And so I was crying. I was hysterical. I was, it was embarrassing. And he was going to just yank it out. No laughing gas, no anything. He was just going to, pull the tooth out with a couple shots and then I, I could found out Roger's like no we're gonna bring her back and she can do it on Monday where she's sedated but I'm telling you it that I was playing the sophageo frequencies and finally didn't I just put my phone down and I was like this is agitating me more than it's helping me remember that yep. yeah yeah um, because you're supposed to there's one that is for pain the, the very first one is for pain the one that's connected to your root chakra but on the crown um, if you're you know, if you trust too much, maybe, then the, we're all one. So we can all, we all are going to support each other and be loving. And you may overtrust. These are, there's a lot more that can go along with this. I'm just doing it fast. And under, uh, you could, again, have, um, if you're overthinking things, I don't think that's necessarily, oh, I think that might be overactive. Um, it can be headaches and exhaustion. This one that you mentioned, imagine earlier, um, imagine by, you know, John Lennon, but also like, it's Jack Johnson. It's the same. Imagine it's just his cover of it, I think. And then like old songs, like Somewhere Over the Rainbow, any anything that's getting us connected. But, Ethany, can you bring us into the 21st century with a song? <laughs> um, well, Hosier's Take Me to Church is a really great yes, one. Yes. Um, although that also connects the root chakra it with does. the crown chakra. Yeah. Um, Bittersweet Symphony is another good one. But anything I also, I mean, I know this is not necessarily a specifically any denomination, but anything to do with gospel music or even any sort of praise music, um, even some artists that I have on my playlist were traditionally like from that arena. Um, yeah. So anything to do with songs about in praise of God, whoever, however, spaghetti monster in the sky you you pray to, um, mm -hmm. I think is also going to take you there as well. Yeah, I love that. Matt, do you have one? Um, yeah, I, well, on that note, um, I was thinking of um, Garth Brooks has like a quasi-gospel song called We Shall Be Free, which is a very, like, uh, like kind of coming <clears throat> together. But the first one I thought of was 
from was the very last song on Dark Side of the Moon, which is appropriately called Eclipse. And um, it has a very, its theme is all about everything is one, everything is together, and everything mm-hmm. will, you yeah. know. End up. I think. I think probably the message is everything will end up dying at, at some point. But that's kind of. <laughs> well, but it is. Yeah. It is sort of a, a, a song about like all is together. Right. Mm-hmm. It made me think of a really old one. Three Dog Night. That band. I love that band. If y'all have never listened to it, listen. I've always told. So my son, my oldest son, son sings, and he used to sing a lot. And I went to the Boston Conservatory. I always said, if you'll just listen to me and redo some of the music that has not been redone, like do it in the the mix way, um, and somebody is finally working on the Carpenters. I can't remember who it was, but they are. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, somebody yeah. like really well known. I, I was like, I texted Tyler. I was like, I, I told you, like, do it because mm-hmm. it's. I'm telling you that somebody's going to remix that music. Just like who did? Was it Pink or um, that did Raindrops on Roses from The Sound of Music? And it's in, or was it Gwen Stefani? I can't remember, but they remixed it. And mm-hmm. some of the songs that are really, really old, like Summer of the Rainbow, those kinds of songs, um, you can remix them. Uh, but yeah, I too, for that one on the Crown Shocker, for me, it's more, oh, I know what's in Three Dog Night, is, one is the loneliest number. When you said eventually you all die, or mm-hmm. you know, one is the loneliest number, and that's from Three Dog Night. And I think if somebody would remix Three Dog Night music, Joy to the World, all those songs, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's a hint. I'm telling you, they always do it after I say. So, Anthony, you said yours already, right? Um, yeah. I think this is where your uh, Jelly Roll Save Me would fall in, too. I think so, song. too. Yeah. I don't know. Well, so you cool. also got, uh, you know, Jesus Take the Wheel. I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm like, <laughs> Some, <laughs> Somebody <laughs> take the wheel because I am. Somebody take the, the wheel because the and car the, is broken. And the wheels are off. <laughs> just wait. I got, something, I got a meme I'm sending you later tonight. So be watching out. If you're on the private email or the private meme list, the private Roger Welch, there's a, a playlist of those too. You and Neil, it's usually yeah, funny those clothes. We can't share those. They're just funny clothes. Like I don't know, they just feel like strange. But um, so quickly, if somebody wants to put a song, or Roger, do you have your playlist? Which playlist? Here, you know, on your phone. Yeah, my. Yeah. Okay, can you spin it and, and like yours, or can you get oh, on it? No, no, no. Oh, I, was, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, so we'll read you, Ethany, and so can everybody listening. So randomly, whatever song it is, we can only play a few seconds of it. And Oh, okay, so hang on, hang on, hang this on. Is how you do right. the, oh, my God, this could embarrass the shit out of me. What yes, have I? Yeah, yes, 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 do yes. it, do it. <laughs> That's what came up. This is what you came for. Okay. Calvin Harris, Rihanna, written by Taylor Swift. <laughs> Swifties. And thank you. And Swifties. <laughs> um, so this is what I came for. So what are some of the, what's some, the like, the verse on that or the chorus on that? Excuse me. Um, well, baby, this is what you came for. Lightning mm-hmm. strikes every time she moves and everybody's watching her, but she's looking at you. That fits you. You like when you command oh. a room, you command a room, you walk in, everybody notices you. That's for sure. Right? Yeah. Anybody else want to read right, that? Here you go. Or he wants, right. he wants to play is what he wants to do. I'll, I'll, go ahead. I, I remember V. Were you in that room when V did that? It was right before you came in at Newt's. And I said, V, just do a shong stuff on hers came up. And then I did mine and it was like some totally, you know, I couldn't twerk to save my life, but it was some song and she gets up and she starts, V starting to twerk and everything to the music that came up on mine. She thought it was really cool. I was like, that's probably the one song on the <laughs> playlist, that, you know, because I just, I do. I like, I like a wide variety, but it's not always the brand new stuff. Mm. Okay. What's your song? All right. Wait, I just had to go to, because I, this is a playlist I play a lot. Let me just shuffle through it a second. Okay. All right. Okay, that's enough. You're going get in trouble. Wait, uh, what is it I couldn't hear? That's what I like about you. It's, oh, the, you know, the what romantics. I like about you. Well, I, can I, so I can read yes. Roger? Yes, yes, please. Well, Roger is extremely loyal. And I would say that that's definitely one thing that uh, if anyone knows Roger is that he's very loyal and he's very kind and very honest. Very honest, yeah. But very generous as well mm-hmm. and a very open person. And I say that I, that's exactly, he doesn't mind me giving him shit about no. Taylor Swift. No, he's, 
Deep he's, down, he's a Swift Actually, it is not even that I mind Taylor Swift. He doesn't mind. He doesn't I care. I know. I know. I'm just People shit, gave me shit over lie. that, and it was like, y'all are stupid because, you know, I don't even care. Yeah, that's the thing. No, he I doesn't don't. care. But, um, I mean, you care about some things. It's just not about that. Matt, do you have yours? Do you have one to spin? Mm, no, I, I don't. I'll do mine. Playlist. This Here we go. The most boring. Like, No. I was told to stop cutting myself down. I think Matt Orwin's on, or he was for a second. He was. Um, okay. Hold on. That's not it. Uh, why did that come up? Hold on. Oh, it's going to be something from Glee or something, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's going to be Les Mis. What's, what's that other show? There was Glee and a couple others. <clears throat> what? Oh, it's probably something Disney. Here was my sacral one. This isn't it, though. Okay. So the sacral shocker one. Where'd it go? Um, one second. Well, forget yeah, it. Yeah, Matt, st Matt, spin yours. Tell Matt Aaron, what's your, what's your spin yours? Let's hear what you have there. Yeah, so we're doing, um, You, I can't get back to it, babe, on here, on my list. Um, oh, here it is. So this was the sacral chakra one. Well, it's not going to play. It's trumpets. Y'all listen to it later. Oh, there you go. Isn't that perfect for sacral chakra? So here's my spin. And this is what you do. You read it. You do an upbeat song and you read for that one. You play it just a few, like one minute of it for people. You can do it in classes, in a group. It's really fun. Instead of like elef White Elephant Change, do Exchange or something at parties, <clears> do this instead. Do the upbeat song, do the ballad song, and then shuffle. The shuffle's the funniest, though, because you never know what's yeah. going to come up. Here, I will do it. I may have to hand this to Roger, though, because I can't even get it to... Well, I'll tell you what. While she's doing that, Matt, we'll show what our products of the week are real yeah. quick because yeah. I'll give her a second. So just so you guys know, our products of the week, one is we have the bracelets, uh, which are the, oh, I can't even see it from here. It's the soul oh. grounding healing. Yeah. Soul grounding, which promotes stability, security, connects to uh, earth energies, and that is an all smoky quartz um, bracelet. Mm -hmm. And those are buy one, uh, you get a 25% discount. Uh, second, you'll see those, those little they look kind of black there, but they're not. Those are actually garnets. So the crystal of the week are the garnets, and they're buy one, get one free. Garnets are great for grounding energy, too. And then uh, this is our um, love, kind of a more hippie love type incense. And what is it? It is The scent is mellow out. It's called Groovy Vibes Incense. These are actually essential oil dipped incense, and these are buy one, get one free this week. Yeah. Yeah. And so the funny thing about those is it comes with either that label with the, the yeah. mini, what's that called? The so, it has the, bus. so we have the groovy, groovy vibes, which is the hippie bus. And then they also have a dragon. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same scent, depending but on whatever it is. people think they smell different, but they don't. They'll have this, they have different names, but it'll be the exact same scent just with a different label on it. And you will have people swear. I mean, they will argue with you in the store saying, no, I would need that one. And we're like, this is exactly the same. It just has a different title. So that does say something about the lyrics, right, in the title. Yep. All right, so here's mine. I really don't know. swirl? To, or swirl. My whatever, shuffle. Here shuffle. We, here we go. That's not it. See there? It's some wolf howling. It's wolf howl. Yeah, wolf howl. That's what it is. So you got wolf howls or Do shuffle. you want to read that one? <laughs> My wolf, who's it by? It's a wolf howling. Oh, she's a wolf howling. <laughs> she just needs to run. She needs, she needs to go pick up her women who runs with wolves and just open it up and read whatever comes up. That's what she's saying. You, know, you need to go run with the wolves. You need to go let all that little wildness free. Out. Yeah. I saw Jesus. a bloody, talking about wolves, I didn't see a wolf, but I saw a big-ass coyote the night of the eclipse just, like, oh, literally cool. walking across our front lawn. Mm. That was pretty cool. That is cool. Um, so what was the other thing? So this that's how you can do that shuffle thing. Mm -hmm. And then we're just, um, we, we're kind of out of time, but did y'all kind of have fun with this? Yes? Just say yes. 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 I guess. <laughs> you guess? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it is huge. It um, and for Matt, learning the piano, so now you know, that guitar, piano, that's heart, that's the heart chakra, mm -hmm. typically. And I don't think I said for the crown, oh, I did, it's shells. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Like blowing through music and playing through shells and stuff like that. Um, so it's really kind of fun. You can take it as big as you want to take it. Yeah. You know, with the songs and the lyrics and, and I do think that it's interesting how 
to read at, when somebody just plays a little part of a song and then you, but, and their, their face lights up and they're like, oh, I remember when I put this on, you know, yeah, I remember exactly what that was about and why um, they play it over and over again or once. If, if it's or 30 you. times in five minutes. Okay. So, <laughs> Ethan, so Ethany, tell us what else you have going on that you, I know you're, you're reading or are you, is that on hold until you finish your book? It's on hold until I finish my book, but I'm teaching tarot, so that starts on Monday. Oh, okay. So, um, my tarot intensive, but mostly it is trying to get this manuscript <laughs> manuscript over, and then I'll probably have my readings back open again. But yeah, it's been, but where did uh, they find you to sign up for the tarot class? Um, tarotreadersacademy.com, or you can just poke it to poke me on social, and I can also send you the free 101 um, course that I have as well. So I've got tons of freebies. Yeah. Speaking of freebies, yeah. are you giving away a, a, a prize oh, tonight? Um, sure. Sure. Actually, I'll give away a prize. I'm going to give away a prize. Can okay. I give away a prize? Sure. sure. I'm going to give away. <clears throat> I'm going to give away any one of my in in stock decks that I have. I will send it out to wherever you is oh, wow. at. Okay. If you can, if you can name one of the root chakra songs we talked about. Okay. And the way we do it, the way we do it is we put in a random drawing now so they can do it all week long. Oh, okay. And so we'll let you know. Well, yep, yep. If, they, if you want to do another one right now, we oh, can no, do it. No, 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 that's yeah. fine. You, no. can do, you just it. tell me who I'm going to send it to. That way we get them to listen all the way through. Oh, <laughs> um, but spicy. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I just posted that. Okay, cool. And all right, so um, and we have Reader Studio coming up at the end of the month. We'll, Anthony will be there. Yay. And are you doing readings there? Did I see that on the list? I have things? so many emails from Sally. Sally, I'm so sorry. I'm going to reply to those first things tomorrow. I've been dying. So yeah. um, she, she knows. I'll reply to you tomorrow. But yes. I'll probably be doing a bunch of stuff. Yes. I yeah. saw your name, Anthony, that's adding that. I was like, okay, dokie. I didn't know she had actually talked to you yet or not. But well, anybody had, that's like the celebrity stuff. reading, that's what you yeah. have at those certain times. So, um, yeah. And then next year, your stuff will be out for probably the round table. Uh, yeah. Where when you that's what you did for bad bitches. That's when we discovered that song and you or, or that deck. You really were nice when that happened, but you really had sold them all. And you're like, I don't know. I might have maybe ten left. And I was like, I'll take them sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and it's never so. We've always been friends since mm -hmm. then, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, this has been fun. Yes. So, uh, send us your songs if you want to post them later too. I will post uh, the list of what we talked about tonight. I mean. What we talked about tonight, I will post maybe by the end of the year. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a reasonable time that's frame, yes. reasonable. honestly, for how much you got on your plate, yeah. for real. <laughs> I think that's exactly. reasonable. So, Anthony, thank you so much for coming on and, and doing this with us. Um, I do think that music does speak to all of us, so mm -hmm. it's really fun. I, I'm just encouraging you all to do that, what we just did. We read them really, really fast, but you can get a lot deeper in the readings, and especially if you're in a group. It's really fun. You have everybody write it on an index card and then you read it to the person and then you give them the index card to keep so they have that reading from whatever song that was from either their oh, That's really sweet. Yeah, it's really fun to yep, do. So, yeah. A lot of fun. Thanks so yep. much. Thank I hope you. you get some rest, Stephanie. Yeah. Thank, thank you, too. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys for joining us tonight and make sure you give us a like, share, and a follow. And we will see you here next week. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Yeah.